Hi, my name is Matt and I work at Martin Professional and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the different dimming curves and when you should best use them. Most Martin fittings have four different dimming curves within the settings. The first one is a linear dimming curve. This is optically linear and this will increase the light intensity as it appears on the DMX value. So as you slide that up and down, you'll see what looks like um, a linear line up and down that dimming curve. Square law is where the light intensity control is much finer at the low end of the dimming curve, but a lot coarser at the high end. So if you're using your lights predominantly at very low levels, this would be the best one to select. Inverse square law, as you may guess, is the opposite. So the light intensity control is a lot coarser at low levels, but much finer at high levels. So if you're predominantly using your fixtures at maximum brightness and not dipping down too much, then this would be the best one to pick. With S-Curve, the light intensity control is finer at the low level and the high level, but quite coarse in the middle. This curve actually emulates the RMS voltage dimming characteristics of an incandescent lamp. So if you're using the lights kind of generally a bit at the bottom, a bit at the top, then S-Curve is a happy medium and probably the best one to go for in those situations. Let's have a little look at some of these different dimming curves in action. As you can see, some of these dimming curves drop off at the bottom end are very differently. However, in the middle, some of them are a little bit better or worse. Um, and at the top end, it's a little hard to tell on camera, um, but I can tell you in person that they do look quite different as well. To conclude, it's always really important to set these different dimming characteristics, especially if you're not happy with the dimming performance. It really can make a big difference. So give it a try and see what you think.